mention India in Russia, the Middle East or even Africa and chances are someone or the other will break into Mera Juta Hai Japani from Shri Char Sobis. Mera Juta Hai Japani Ye Patloon Englishtani Sar Pe Laal To Piru Si Phir Bhi Dil Hai Hindustani The person responsible for this widespread acceptance was none other than Raj Kapoor who communicated with the world in the language of cinema and love. He travelled extensively showcasing Indian cinema to the international audience, winning their personal and professional appreciation at the same time. The RK banner became the hothouse of many a young talented professionals of their time. Through the decades, it continued to launch the artists who became the darling of the masses. He was a true Indian legend. How often do you come across a person who refuses the biggest national awards? The answer would be very rarely. Sitar maestro Ustad Vilayat Khan did just that time and again. Such was the stature of Ustadji that other prominent artists would usually refuse to be referred to as Ustad in front of him. Music was his only inheritance. His entire world was the sitar. He started mesmerizing audiences at the tender age of 12. His mastery and hold over the seven notes would make people gasp. Ustadji was a darling of international audiences. One of the biggest reasons for this was that he was the first one to explain his craft through musical phrases. He would often sing out what he would play. His firm conviction being that music is for everybody. He brought the world closer not just to his music, but to the entire range of Hindustani classical music. A musical genius, a true disciple of music, a true Indian legend. He is one of the few people who know that when a tiger walks unafraid and unthreatened, our heritage is retained for future generations. Meet Valmik Thapar, an authority in tiger conservation, a wildlife photographer, the tiger man of India. Saving the tiger means saving the forest, every living organism and water. 600 rivers are born in forest India. So when you save it, you save the water supply of a nation. He is credited with almost single-handedly saving the tiger from being wiped out. I am very happy knowing that I contribute a tiny little amount in the larger process of saving the tiger. Valmik Thapar, a committed conservationist, the Tiger Man of India, a true Indian legend. The ball would whistle past the batsman's head with a kind of hiss only those who have faced deliveries of that speed can hear. The sound signified to the world that India after a long time had a bowler capable of generating disconcerting speed. The bowler was Kapil Dev, the wisdom Indian cricketer of the century. The need of the hour required to be so the ball little fast. We didn't plan. It just happened. It happened so beautifully. He led us against all odds to a remarkable World Cup triumph in 1983. We played well. We played like a team. But I think uh, the ball was rolling towards us. He did what few Indian cricketers have been able to do. Bowl fast and take wickets by the handful. As batsman, bowler and captain, he was overawed neither by his adversaries nor by situation. You want to succeed, doesn't matter you live in village, it is your own determination to make all the difference. As far as I'm concerned, I love my country. Kapil Dev, a winner as a captain, a resilient sportsman, a true Indian legend. At the age of 20, he was the first Indian to obtain a commercial pilot's license. His first flight from Karachi to Bombay in October 15, 1932, started civil aviation in the subcontinent. A little later, he set up the Tata Airlines, which was later renamed Air India. He reenacted his first flight at the age of 78 and was an honorary Air Vice Marshal of the Indian Air Force as well. In 34, JRD became the head of the Tata Empire, which thanks to his genius, soon became India's leading industrial house. GRD was that rare businessman who transcended the world of business because the object of his life was not to make money but to build industry. India honored GRD with the Bharat Ratna and he would remain in our collective memory 
as one of the builders of modern India, G.R.D. Tata, industrialist, aviator, humanitarian, a true Indian legend.